our forces are under attack. Should you become a nuisance, I'll kill you myself. Hey there, StarCraft fans, it's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remaster. Today it's going to be a Patreon cast featuring Royal and Action here on Ultimate Stream. Bit of a weirder map, figured to be a fun one for a Patreon cast. Bottom right, it's going to be our Blue Terran player. It is Royal. And in the bottom left, it is Action. So, two incredible players, good at macro, good at micro, good at mind games, good at bluffing... And it's going to be a Patreon cast. For those of you who support me at patreon.com slash falconpaladin for at least $1 a month if you do that. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it every single month. And if you're watching this the week of March the 30th, that's you. And if you're watching this after the week of March the 30th, 2024, say April or May or any time after that, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. I am here. How many times a week? Six times a week with Brood War content. All right, so walling off here on Ultimate Stream with a Supply Depot. It's, again, weird map, right? So this is pretty much your main base, and this is your expansion, and this is what you need to wall off. So instead of main bases that are pretty much square, it's basically a rectangle, right? Right. A lot of good places to expand with gas and stuff, little high ground expansions. With ramps leading up to them, ramps leading up to a high ground, and then leading down. You know. You know these conventions of map making, right? Right. Terror the Overlord scouting the wrong direction, and it's a hatch first here from Action. Ka chow At about, you know, 11, 12 supply or so. Barracks coming up. No proxies today from Royal, but he's very, very good at them. And, but it's a four-player map, and a big one at that, so Action says, eh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll the dice here on a hatch first. And he got away with it. So, Steve the SCV is scouting out. Falcon Paladin dot store, Terry the Overlord merch, Steve the SCV merch, Robert the Zealot, all sorts of great stuff like that. And what's the play? What's the play gonna be from everybody involved in this game? Probably SK Terran, could be Mech. I don't know, it's an RJB replay though. So check him out, youtube.com slash at RJB underscore TV. Macro Hatch coming in from action, it's kind of fun. He is the Macro Zerg, so his ability to macro is pretty fantastic. Overlord here, SCV says, uh -huh. well, I don't have to scout deep into that base because Overlord perching spot here doesn't make a lot of sense. Although, is he? No, I mean, this drone. Yeah, all right, fine. Second SCV, man. I mean, Royal really wants to know what action is doing here, and he's going to find out. So, he does see the hatch first timing. He sees the macro hatch now. Mm hmm Yes, makes note of it. Sees the gas. Sees the spawning pool on the way. That was actually... I didn't even note that, but that was a three hatch before pool. Not three bases before hat or before pool, but three hatches before pool. Yeah, I mean, seriously, send your marines now. That pool's not done. Go, go, go. Maybe build a bunker? Like, you could maybe bunker rush than this. Even if you didn't proxy. Even if you weren't planning on it. This is greed out of action. But that pool's finishing now. Yeah, and sixlings are on the way because holy smokes. Yeah, all the drones get pulled off. <gasps> this is amazing. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Hey, is he just trying to, like, force slings out of action here? Being like, it's a big attack. Panic. Make no more drones. But no, action's like, okay, fine. I'll keep droning. Get a lair here, too. No big deal. Just send the marines back home. He's expanding behind this. He's got the one rax. He's got a second rax coming up here. So, yeah, double supply, de supply depot in the wall. Gas is just kind of starting to happen here from Royal. Well, he's got about 100 gas now, so that started a minute ago. Interesting. So that was just a little bit of a feint, wasn't it? Just trying to make action overreact to this and make, I don't know, 10 lings, but no, he made four Zerglings. Went for Lair, didn't bother getting Metabolic Boost first with that 100 gas, and is now getting his second gas here. And now we go probably into the Mutalisk space on that Lair timing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Stim on the way. Stim and the second Rax tells us this going to be some SK Terran out of Royal, which he's very good at and very, very capable of winning with. As always. So, there we go. Spire time, bam, 440. God, is that another? No, it's an evolution camera. That's not another macro hatch, is it? Oh, two base? That's way too many. Way too many hatches for two base of income. 
Ling's popping out. Their job is to see when is the marine timing attack coming. Or maybe is there a vulture? He doesn't have... I don't think he's scouted this yet. Yeah. Well, he just sees the number of marines and says, mm-hmm. And there's a medic in there, too. He says, all right, cool. SK Terran, let's do this. Let's throw up a couple creep colonies back home. Engineering Bay on the way from action. Or from Royal. He's worried about actions mutilisks, as you should be. As you traditionally should be. Double sunken coming up here. All right. Does he need a third one? Once again, Royal just casually pulling back. Just putting fear of Terran into the poor Zerg player's heart. And then when the Zerg player is terrified, pulling back. And then doing it again. Any sign of a third base here from action? Not really. He's just saving up his cash. He's got 800 gas here. So it's going to be a bunch of mutas. I would not be shocked at all. There's a scan. Sees the spire. I would not be shocked at all if we saw a carapace or a, an attack upgrade for these mutas coming in. But nothing yet. I think every hundred minerals he's getting, he's making another mutalisk. He wants to make a bunch of mutalisks. And then maybe once his gas is depleted, with that next hundred gas, or with the remaining hundred gas, he goes for an attack upgrade. Because, yeah, this is nine mutas on the opening. This is some serious business, y'all. Ooh, ten. Okay. Yeah, he can actually go for just a straight eleven. Eleven mutalisk opening here. That second gas timing was so early. So range upgrade for marines. This is an attempt to kill royal with mutalisks. Kind of toss that out there, man. And, yep, no further upgrades. Every, yeah, I think it's a little bit supply blocked, tiny bit. Turrets are up, as is tradition, as they need to be, and a third base is coming up behind this mutilisk pressure, as also is tradition. So, now action's going to have to have some control here. A double starport coming in. I don't know if you need to invest in some Valkyries here. If you're royal, this is a lot of mutalisks pretty early. But that range upgrade is done. It is a full stack of 11 mutalisks, though it's 7 minutes. Man, Terran players on the ladder watching this. How terrified would you be if you saw this many mutalisks showing up at this point in time? Or would you just be chill, cool as a cucumber? You'd have your turrets ready. You'd have a bunch of marines out with range and stim and some medic support, wouldn't you? You'd be fine. You wouldn't die to this at all, just like Royal's not dying to this at all. Not even close. Yeah, no. I mean, it's going to be scary for Royal to move out here because Mutas and Lings, especially from somebody as good as Action, are just going to find, you know, ways to whittle down your Marine count. Piece by piece. Bit by bit. Until you're out there in the middle of the map all alone. Holy fast hive, too. I didn't even look at that. Action's going hive. And another evolution chamber. Is he trying to go crazy ultra here? Crazy Zerg. Is he trying to get really fast mutalisks out? Because that's really good against SK Terran. I mean, the answer to it for the Terran is to get plus three attack for their Marines. Like, as fast as Terranly possible. But, uh, plus two's on the way. This might work out. If Royal's got plus three by the time ultralisks pop, I think that's fine. This could also just be a rush to get into Filer tech, right? Plagues, Dark Swarms, that is the answer to all of these Marines, and it always will be because we'll never get another balance patch in Brood War. Yeah, who needs Valkyries? We're just getting some science vessels out. It's no big deal. NBD, as the kids would say. Actually, that's not a Gen Z thing, is it? It's more of a millennial thing, which I am. I'm an elder millennial, so I speak it. Anyway, so cutting up the third base. Okay, so action respects the capabilities needed. Holy greater spire and an ultralisk cavern. I, I, I was right the first time. Ooh, good snipe on those medics. Though. Is he blood? Radiate not researched? No energy for a radiate. Radiate must have already come through. There's no way he fired up this many science vessels without having a radiate. It's stupid. Like, unless you just want to use the science vessels for detection, but in that case, you don't need this many science vessels. Yeah, a radiate has to be done. So when we get that first 75 energy, we'll get a radiate out. Maybe. Hit it. No. Hmm. All right. Oh, he didn't have it. <laughs> Look at me. Assuming that Royal is like, ah, 
No, I will make six science vessels without having to radiate research, but I guess that does mean the science vessels will have a bunch of energy when radiate's done. No, man, but chitinous plating is on the way. Actions like, who needs defilers, Falcon? I can do this thing with chunky, chunky chitinous plating ultralisks. And maybe some guardians with these mutas when they lose their effectiveness. That's really good stacking, though. I think they paid for themselves. Three ultralisks in production. That's that plus two for the marines. Still on the way here. No plus three for them. But obviously... It's a possibility. Oh, this, oh, the one link did pause construction on that third base for a minute. Oh, and then the Muta's dive bomb it. Pause it further. Dude, action, you madman. He's completely denying this third base. Marines are trickling in. That's not enough Marines to do this. La, la, la. Forcing, oh my gosh. Forcing a cancel on this would be so good. Also, killing the SCB again is pretty hot. There's your first irradiate of the day. Pretty good split off, though, on the irradiated Mulisks. But there's only five of them left. I think at this point... Oh, okay, I was going to say, pull those five back. Maybe turn them into Guardians, but the Science Vessels are getting that high ground vision. I don't know if you can hide it. Fourth base coming in from action, top left. There is a scan. See what we're dealing with. And it's a gajillion sunkens. Now, what this tells you is... Come on, the filers. That's what it says. Oh, Mulisks dying for nothing back there. Not good. That's exactly what it says. It says if there was Dark Swarm, we would not need this many Sunkins. We'd be fine with a couple of Sunkins against this many Marines. But because it's that many Sunkins, it has to be Ultralisks. I think Royal has just sniffed this out with that scan. And he's not working on a plus three attack. He does have the two. He's pretty happy about it. Infantry armor upgrades are not as important as attack is in this situation. He's going to dematrix a Marine and try to bust up this ramp. But I think Ultras are going to pop out of this Nidus Canal if you try that. Ready? There they are. Hey, Leotralisks are here. And they're coming down the ramp. They were kind of funneled in there, but the death of the Sunkens actually allowed them to get a better position there. And, okay, I mean... Sunken Ultra Combo, pretty good. This is a lot of Marines with Stim, though. Ah, but the Ultras are not dying quite quickly enough. Scourge do wipe out a single Science Vessel. Ooh, kind of body blocking. Oh, I don't know if that's on purpose, but yo, that body block. Preventing those Ultras from escaping was pretty fantastic. There are the Irradiates. Oh, guys, you can't sit there. You can't sit next to each other. It's bad. Okay, so there you go. Split them up. Split him up. That's a hold, but this is a lot of stuff from Royal. He is now firing up plus three infantry weapons because he needs it. As further ground carapace upgrades come in here, Adrenal's on the way for this ling, uh, ling composition with a little bit of ultra support. They do have two one, two armor, plus one attack. This third base is in a lot of trouble. Yeah, these Marines are going to try to save these guys. I don't know. Man, if these were Adrenalings, it'd feel a little bit better. Yeah, look at this Royal just having enough. Having enough support. Look at the retreat potential, though. Up through this way on the ground. That's fantastic. All right, so four bases for action here. He's got 52 drones, 55 SCBs from Royal. This is a good game. Some really fantastic stuff. Consume is now on the way. Action says, maybe I do need some Dark Swarm. A little bit of Plague Ooh, never hurt anyone against an SK Terran. Not even close. A second irradiate is enough to take down this ultra. Mm. There he goes. Adrenal finishing up here. 150 to 112 supply here for Royal. I don't know if the ultra list gambit worked as well as Action wanted it to. But guess who's got Dark Swarm? And guess who has pretty much all Marines? No fire bats. Just firing up eight Marines at a time. Dude, at some point, you're going to need some fire bats here. I'm really shocked there are not that many. But I guess if you sniff out ultra lists, then effectively you just kind of say, well, fire bats aren't good against those guys. So let's just make as many Marines as we can, get upgrades for them, have a nice day. Another scan, and he says, Dark Swarm, Sunken Spore. All right. Fine. No drops, though. Oh, that, that Ultra List. Split them off. There you go. Okay, consume. And Dark Swarm the front before you die. Okay, got it. Accomplished his goal. Ooh. Royal's getting restoration 
No way. Is he going to cast Restoration on Science Vessels after they get plagued? Because Plague is certainly on the way. Flare Carapace coming in too. What the heck? He's actually planning on drops. That's the only reason I can think that he would need Flyer Carapace upgrades right now. All of his Mutas are dead. He never managed to turn any of them into Guardians. Not that it really matters if he had, because come on. Guardians are a joke. This Ultra Lisk is very dead. But he takes a bunch of Marines with him. I mean, can't complain too much about that. Middle of the map here, looking pretty good from Royal. Can't really argue all that much. 12 Overlords in production. Action's trying to get maxed out here and never worry about Overlords ever again. So again, the good position here from Action that he's on four bases, although this is a fourth base that is just now getting saturated from Royal. Oh. Royal, good read on what was going on here from Action. Responding properly to it. And he's in a pretty good spot, man. That plus three attack is finishing up very soon. There are some fire bats now. They're all dead, but they made sure all the Zerglings were dead too, though. So that's that's not nothing, I suppose. D-Matrix. Triple D-Matrix. These Marines are like, we've got plus three. Why isn't this working? It is working. It's working now. Couple Ultras roll into this fourth base. Don't like what they see, and they have to run out. So yeah, I don't know. These Ultras have gone on many like many rampages at all. Have they killed a bunch of Marines? Absolutely. Yes, they've killed a bunch of Marines, but man, a lot of Ultras have gone down to Marino Lings with two attack and three armor with plus three coming in. Marines have their plus three. They have their plus two infantry armor here. Bligo! Sick plague. I don't know if the medic wants to use restoration. These guys are probably dead anyway, even if they aren't plagued. And action trying to swing this thing back. He's down 50 supply here at 17 minutes. These guys trying to go. I love this bunker positioning. It covers the mineral line and he can attack stuff down here too. That's amazing. That's a great place to put a bunker. Uh uh. When you see a Zerg player kind of funneling wings into a giant ball of Marines like this, it is not going well for the Zerg player. Not even close. Okay, hang on. We busted that bunker. This fourth base is in trouble for Royal. Army not quite sure what it wants to do. They decide they're, 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 they're undecided. They scan in. They see no defilers at this fourth base. And they're like, we'll just send enough Marines to kill these Ultras. I guess that is not enough Marines, guys. That's a cancel and a fifth base attempt or a sixth, whatever it is. A double expand attempt here from action. One of them gets wiped out. The other one is still on fire fire though and by that I mean it's building but uh, yeah these ultras inside your mineral line no royal no royal no this is not happening this is not happening royal was in such a good spot where I guess he didn't bust up here because nice plague he figured the Midas canal man a defiler was available at a moment's notice Continuing to not send enough units to restore his fourth base to him, which is a massive problem. Lands the command center. These ultras are... Oh no, they're not even that bad. Another play catches these dudes. Kill them before they reach you. It doesn't matter if you're plagued, guys. Ooh, Dark Swarm, middle of the map, though. Back it out, Royal. Back it out, man. You know better than that. There we go. Dude, the plagues are insane. Restoration! Woo! Restoration! Saving one of two. Another one gets rest. They all get restored. Royal restoring his science vessels to their previous state. I mean, they already took some damage, but it's not nearly as bad as it would be except for that restoration cast. That was amazing. We don't get to see that very much at all. This is incredible. This game is kind of nuts. All right, Royal is wholly attempting to do this thing SK Terran style. No tanks. Science Vessel does get wiped out, but only one. Another insanely huge plague. Get the fire bats in there. Radiated Ultralisk. Blah. Gonna die. We're back at the fourth base. These three, three cracklings now. Yeah. Fully upgraded cracklings at the fourth base of Royal going to town. Marines getting obliterated. The plague adrenaline combination is too much. The restoration was sick on these science vessels. There are a gajillion. 
a gajillion science vessels here. I don't know, but it's just sheer numbers-wise for action. Yeah, he lost his attempt at getting this 9 o'clock, but he did end up getting the 11 o'clock. The 11.30, whatever it is. But see, this is Flash-esque, right? This is where you have enough science vessels late game to just irradiate literally everything. Like, everything. And then the Ultras are not as scary when that happens. Is there, I don't think there's enough energy on these medics to go... Oh, that one has enough energy for a restoration. This fourth base has been an absolute madhouse. I don't know about this, Royal. You're down 20 supply now. You haven't been able to expand for a hot minute. These Lings, they're just going to try to take as many of the Marines with them as they can. Firebats doing their job. More Lings trying to roll in. Single Ultralisk pathing a little bit messed up. Dematrix, Mutalisks trying to pick off the Plague Science Vessels because they didn't get restored this time. That's huge. That is really big. And man, Action has this left side base. This is a final move out from Royal. He needs this base to be alive. And he needs to wipe out this left side base or maybe well, whatever he's got. No, nope. No, 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 no. He doesn't have enough stuff. Man, that fourth base being lifted more often than not over the last five minutes was too much. Royal taps out, and action is your winner in 21 minutes. Oh, that's incredible. That's in. <sighs> that's insane. What a great, great showing from action there. I I don't know what Royal could have done differently other than not have his fourth base die so much. <laughs> I guess that's the big thing. Maybe go for some drops. I'm a big fan of drops in this particular situation. He had the science vessel account. He was radiating stuff. He went for restoration, which was super cool. He got style points for that. But he only ever managed to really kill this base. And this wasn't even a base yet. It was coming up. And when he killed it, he couldn't take this down. He tried. He never really mounted any serious attack on these top two bases at the top side of the map. We can actually expanding over here like a madman. But yeah, the pressure that action is able to put on the third base of Royal and the fourth base of Royal. And just the lack of uh, just aggression on the other side on his bases was really big. And yeah, it's just action had enough money... That it didn't matter how many Ultralisks he lost. It was a lot of Ultralisks that went down today. A whole, whole metric ton of them. And it didn't even matter. That's how good that was. That is how good Action's macro was. The macro hatches. The worker counts at 75. Which I did not make a mention of previously. I don't think. But yeah. It just is expanding down here too. It's not a very safe one. But at this stage of the game, it's very safe. Because all the Marines are dead. Ha! Ha! So GG, man. Action gets the win, but we got restoration usage, which is neat. Never going to complain about that. Whew. Okay, 167,000 points, 156,000 points in favor of Action. He outproduced the Terran. He outkilled the Terran. Never a good sign. Building's raise was negligible because, again, things and ultras aren't good at taking down command centers, and there really wasn't a lot of attacking on the other side from the Terran. And then outspending Royal here today by 13,000 resources in 21 minutes is honestly probably more than enough. Just more than enough. That's all it is. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. That was... That was something to behold. What a great show. All right, man. Action wins. Royal taps out, and that's going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.